In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your iPhone button back on your iOS device. Hey what's up boys, it's been a really long time and I'm glad to be back. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your iPhone button back. But obviously we do have one announcement before we get started. So uh, this is going to be our active shoutout winner for today. So please be sure to go ahead and check them out, um, give them some love, check out the channel if they have one, if they don't, you know, just find their comment somewhere in my videos and, you know, give them a like or something like that. Um, these active shoutouts are for you smaller YouTubers, so if you guys want to be active on my channel, you guys will receive a free shoutout on my channel. Um, super easy to win, all you have to do is comment, like, and subscribe, turn on those notifications, and with those three things, you guys will be able to win one. Alright guys, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's tutorial. So, step number one, what you guys want to do is push all your apps out of your little bar here. So to do that, you have to hold it, click edit, home screen, then it basically starts to shake. Just make sure to pull, uh, pull all the apps out of here, then click done. Next, what you guys want to do is go to settings, scroll all the way down until you see accessibility right here. Then you're going to scroll all the way down to touch, and it says assistive touch. Once you turn it on, it's basically appearing right here, and you guys basically have your home button back. Um, the reason why this is such like a really this is such a really good feature is because it works with many things. So like, let's say your iPhone's cracked and you can't swipe up or you can't go to the side or something like that. You guys can go to device and you can add gestures, that type of stuff. You can also restart your device as well. You can put a screenshot if any of your buttons break or any of that sort of thing. Um, my favorite feature, the one I actually use, is restart. So instead of having to turn on my device and press the buttons and all that, I just click that and it does it for me, which is amazing. So if you guys have like a broken iPhone or something like that, you guys can do this all the way up to iOS 7, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm on the latest version, which is, or I'm on one of the latest versions, which is 13.5. All you have to do to move it to uh, the lower areas, just drag it down there and it should be in the middle, just like a home button would be. Um, to show you guys that it works, let's go ahead into the app store, tap it, tap home, and it basically works. That's all you guys need to know. Um, if we're in an app, you know, simple things like that, you could just put control center, let's say, because again, if it's cracked, you don't want to swipe or hurt yourself. So it's best to do this method to get your iPhone button back. That's basically it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please be sure to leave a like and a subscription towards my name. Stay tuned guys for more videos. Have a great one. Peace.